Welcome back. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Time for a bit of a fly, I think. I already had these birds out for one fly this morning. Um, maybe about 10.30. No hawks, nothing was pretty good. Everyone was flying quite well. So this will be their second fly for the day. So it's going to be quite good to um, actually get them out and see how they go. We've got some cockatoos or something in the tree there. Is that what you're looking at? It's always funny birds around here. These guys are all ready to go. Oh, 83. The two reds. One of the reds, actually, that one over the back there. He, um, he's only got one or two tail feathers left. He actually got, he was the one that come back late. I'm uh, pretty sure the hawk had a little bit of a nibble on his tail. So he's hasn't really got a tail. He's just got two feathers. These guys went out for a bit of a fly this morning. It was probably about a 25 minute fly. So I'm um, hoping they'll get back closer to a half hour fly today. That's nearly an hour that they've had in the air today, which is pretty good. Um, we'll probably identify a few of those um the lazy ones i actually figured them out this morning actually because i left the trap open and let them come in which was pretty good actually because then i could see who they were and so our this is how it goes we've got probably six or seven split barless which are the original ones then there's a few that are actually blue bar but they carry barless they are the lazy ones i can tell them out pretty well and surprisingly, all the barless, pure barless ones actually fly up with the other 80%. So there's 20% that are pretty much useless at the moment. Um, and then there's the 80% that are really good. So Bluey is here. Um, she's really good. And there's another barless one in here as well. Because we've got three barless hens, which is quite nice. And um, yeah, I think I'm starting to identify which ones are the bad ones. Here's another one here. She's actually pretty good, that little barless hen at the back. That one, she flies with all of them, which is really good. They're actually pretty keen to get back out, so I think we should. Um, we will have a look at the breeding pairs. I've set um, a few more pairs up in there as well. We can have a look at them, which is going to be pretty interesting. But we'll need these guys up for a little bit of a fly. They are super keen. Um, all these three here are from Shock. The red ones are the Cox and then the Brooklet Checkers. The Checker one behind from him as well. So they all fly really well, especially these two reds and this little hen here which is a little shock they fly really well i'm actually surprised how well they fly even beefcake was doing really well this morning he surprised me hey big fella he is a monstrous bird and he's actually starting to look very beautiful as well oh someone's taking your limelight so we'll see we'll get you all up in the air let's do it give this uh, loft a little bit of a clean out while they're out too which has been it's pretty good now being able to do that they are flying really good so I'm hoping we can get them up for at least half an hour that would be fantastic even if we do 25 minutes that's good because then we're done two 25 minutes today which is more than they've ever flew in their life actually so today is probably the most I've ever flown if they stay up for a while 
they did have a little light feeder before so they hopefully should stay up longer Right now where are they? They've been roaming. They are here somewhere. Oh, there's two over there. I don't even know where they are now. Oh, there they are. Out there. It's been a couple of groups, uh, smaller groups. Probably probably these birds that are coming in here that have been a little bit lazy. There is kind of two groups, like I was saying. There is the 20% that are pretty lazy. And then we've got um, around about 80 cent, 80% sorry, that are pretty good they are really strong flies and those red checkers are in it most of the shocks babies are got the lawnmowers going as well so they're trying to they think i've got food for them i've been um have a look at this that's just their mix a little bit of hemp seed oil and also the garlic oil with a bit of pink mineral powder all mixed around seems pretty good i'm gonna think i'm gonna try and lean to keeping the pink mineral powder on their feed instead of in there just gets a little bit messy and less wastage as well so i might try and keep that routine up because it seems to be quite working i've just got a lot of um grit in there at the moment in that one i think they're going to want to come in in a minute so i might call them in in a second because i want to get the high flies out in a second so i thought i'd get these guys out first make sure there's no hawks around um no falcons then i can let all those guys out which is going to be pretty good and that's going to be my other channel which you can find in the description so if you want to head down in the description, check out my other links to my other channels, Instagram, and also putting in other bits and pieces up there. Here we, we got one back here. Um, so what I might do, go down and check the description. I want to call these birds in. I want to get these high flies out. It's going to be pretty fun, that will be. Get pigeons flying everywhere. Hopefully my new feed trays turn up this week. I've ordered six this size, pretty much. All right, shut this up, let's bring them. Might try and call them in. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Mom. Mom. Everyone, let's go. Come on. Come on. Still got a few more flies. So there's still a bunch of birds flying around. I'll see if I can get a better shot of them. I'll say this is probably out of that 80%. This is probably the 20% that are really good. They they probably they're very keen to fly. Here they come. We'll see who they are. That's a turkey barless. I don't think that's right. I think you must have got caught up in there everyone else is in there i've got more food anyway so i'm definitely going to make sure these guys get plenty of food uh those ones are all right they're all been flying pretty good you silly pigeon and then we've got this very small bunch up here that don't really want to come down so i'll just leave them be and maybe i'll wait for them to come down then i'll double give them a feed anyway but we're pretty much at about 30 35 minutes but these guys just keep getting better and better so I really want to try and film them so I can identify who they are when they come in because um, they're the ones that are probably really pushing all the other birds and there is a few red checkers in there too so that is a good indicator I'll wait for them to come down a bit lower I'm just going to put that little cover on there for a second just because I want to really see who these birds are especially because there is one barless hen in there as well so that that excites me that I've got one barless that actually is performing just as good as um, all the other birds up there. I can see big, um, pretty sure big beefcakes up there too, as well as little shocks. So there's, there's some, yeah, it's really exciting actually to see who these birds are. I definitely, I think tomorrow when I let them out, I'm not going to feed all these birds until all the birds are in. I don't want to reward these ones for coming in early. They come in when I call them after about 30 minutes-ish, I think it was. I have to check the clock when I put this phone down. Um, but these guys are still going. We might, be, we might be pushing an hour. They might push an hour. I might push, that's only an hour and a half today for them. That is unreal. I'm getting excited. Stay tuned. I'm going to hang around till they land. Come in now because that perigon has given them a bit of a touch up here. He is here. 
They're coming down now. The falcon has given them a bit of a touch up, so I'll let them come in. They have done really good today. It's funny how he comes in around about that half an hour mark at the moment. Still a few birds flying around, but I just don't want to hold him back. He chased one into the tree. He might st he's still here somewhere. He's going to need to be sorted out a little bit. I think here he is. He's up there. You watch, he'll come back around. But we've got one of the red ones and beefcake on the roof. Beefcake's stressing a bit. He's not used to all that flying, but he's doing really well. Mom, Try and get them in. They're starting to come in now. There's a, there's a few still flying pretty high. They're pretty game. All right, here they come. They're coming down. Falcon just comes in for a few swoops, and then he's been disappearing lately, which is good. I want to get him to that point, like some of you have been saying, that he will give up if he's not going to get any. So here's the last little bunch. Come up. Come up. There's one of the barless ones just dropping in. Come up. They're all a little bit puffed. Come up. Come up, come up. Come on, little shock. She'll go in a minute. They're just a couple of swoops, then he disappeared. It's interesting. I'm hoping that he's starting to get sick of it. He wasn't here this morning, but he turned up just now. Um, he's definitely going to clean up some of my high flies if I let him out. Come on, girl. In you go. Come on. She's, she's just a little bit startled, poor girl. Might get some food in here for the last ones and see what happens. There may be one or two that are just scattered a little bit into the trees. I know that he did chase one in the tree. They went straight down like they did in the last video. The birds are learning, um, which is really good. So it's making it very hard for Mr. Falcon, which I like. And finally, we'll sort these two pairs out in here. Both these boys have got little hens now. So got you just doing the fresh water. Got their food too. You're gonna come down for a little bit of a feed. So yeah, I think you've seen this pair anyway. We've got um, this cockbird, one of Leon Storm's babies, 8003. He's a beautiful bird. Definitely the color and conditions and all that kind of body type that I want to put into my barless birds. After seeing that barless bird before ripping it up and running away from the falcon, I'm pretty impressed. So um, hopefully. We might even get that one down with a cockbird when we get some more nest boxes as well. But this one looks, she's a beautiful hen, this one. She's the cleanest, best conditioned body type one that I've got. So that is one pair. And then we'll go into here because I think you guys might like this one. And then we have our little black hen in here. She's pretty keen to breed. They've already actually paired up, these guys. have been down in here cooing and carrying on, him calling her in. So um, definitely keen to get some babies out of this. I'd like to get a few more blacks in the loft as well, but if we can breed a bit of quality into them, um, that'd be pretty good. But this hen's pretty good as it is. She's definitely up there in that top percentage of birds that do quite well, flying around a loft anyway. So, um, yeah, we'll keep an eye on that one and maybe even get some nest bowls in here soon. Maybe to encourage them. These two pairs in these boxes, I'm happy for them to breed. We need to get this project on a bit more. Um, and definitely need to get at least one round out of this pair here and just see what happens. Because hopefully, Adam was saying, we'll get about a 50% chance of getting some more blacks. So that will be nice because they do look really good when flying around. And we definitely need some splits. Some more splits. This will be the next round of splits. So this quality will be race quality. So we'll be able to race it. Um, and then any of those splits that do go quite well, then we can probably look at um, breeding them again and then try and get some full barless again, which is quite nice. It's definitely my favorite color and pattern. That's why I kind of always talk about it, but we're definitely getting there slowly. It's only on the side burner at the moment, but we do need to get some breeding done again. So I'm gonna catch you all in the next video. Stay tuned. He still hasn't really taken to her yet, so we'll give him time. That was a good indication. See you all in the next video.